AgriLife Extension agent Barbara Evans and Karen Mills join us with details on pecans. And you said it's not just pecans, more than one nut, but not Dana. You said <laughs> pecans and walnuts is what we're going to be talking no, about No, we're today. not doing Dana. Uh -huh. But yeah, we're doing pecans, uh, which we've done for many, many years. Mm -hmm. Lots of years. And, uh, and then we're also going to add walnuts this time, which we, we tested it out last year and they seem to like them. Okay. So we're going to add walnuts. This is the uh, fundraiser that the Texas Extension Education Association has been doing for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they do this fundraiser to raise scholarship dollars for 4-Hers mm -hmm. and, and some members as well. Uh, and then they also are very generous with uh, neighborhood um, charitable organizations. Okay. And so they choose about eight organizations each year that they're going to sponsor. And so this is our fundraiser. Okay, and so what do people need to know? Because October 9th is a ways away, but people can start signing up. What can they do? Well, actually, they can start uh, calling the office now or... Um, and then Mercy will direct them where they need to go mm -hmm. uh, to order the pecans and the walnuts. The October 9th is an event not many people know about, the a Texas Extension Education Association. Jefferson mm -hmm. County. Jeff Jefferson. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so we want to introduce people uh, to the organization because it's a wonderful group. Yeah. And so we're going to have a reception uh, October 9th. They're at the, extent at the auditorium at the Extension office. Mm -hmm. And we want folks to come to that. We like them to call so we know how much food to make. Oh, all right. Or how so. much pop to buy or whatever. <laughs> so is it free to the public? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. And so what do people need to know as far as, like, what's the rundown, what's the schedule of events? And the reception is kind of get people it's acquainted? Just, it's just to get acquainted with the uh, Education uh, Extension Education Association. Mm -hmm. And we uh, are the Jefferson Exten Education ex uh, ex Extension <laughs> Education uh, agent okay. Agency. Okay. All right, and so, f okay, it's going to be October 9th. Now, as far as the pecan and walnut sale, is it a situation where you can buy them at any time, or is this something that we're going to be starting up pretty mm -hmm. soon? No, the, we're going to take orders now, mm -hmm. and uh, they're not paid for until they're delivered, okay. and we get them in by uh, cooking season for the holidays. Okay, okay, gotcha. <laughs> and so place your orders now, and before you have to make those pecan pies or whatever you're going to make, your walnut candies uh, for the holidays, we'll have them in. And so we'll call you and let you know when they're there and, and you can come and pick them up. Now, will some come already salted, some not, or is it no, situation? No, they come in this wonderful bag right here. Mm -hmm. uh, look how fresh. Th they these really these came fresh. out of my freezer. Oh, wow. I buy enough to last me through the year. I got yeah, one more bag me. after this. Okay. And so look how good those look. Uh -huh. So how many bags so do you buy just to keep you going throughout the whole year? Ten. Okay, <laughs> that's a good number. That's a good number. Some people kitchen. buy a case, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, people do buy much more than me, but I'm trying to watch my weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, um, but we do have a deadline. Oh, well, you were talking about just how people can go ahead and order them. Yeah, the deadline that is, is September the second. Okay. They need to call in the orders by September the second. Mm -hmm. And so, what are these? stand out in regards to other ones are these actually homegrown or well these are texas pecans mm -hmm. and so when you when you buy these you're doing n a number of things number one you're supporting a texas business mm -hmm. you're supporting our scholarship efforts and our community uh, efforts and um the pecans are 9.50 a pound mm -hmm. try buying that in the grocery store at yeah. 12 dollars mm -hmm. and then the walnuts are 8.50 a pound mm -hmm. they are fresh and that's why we order them now and they come so late because they get them right out the tree, stick them in the bag, and send them to us. So okay. they, they have not been sitting in the store for no. years, getting all stale and everything. A oh. new crop. And they do keep well in the freezer, because I do it all the time. Yeah, and just really quickly explain, what's the difference between those really, really fresh ones and ones that have been sitting there? Oh, the flavor. You can tell when you get one, because they have an oil in them, and the oil will start to go rancid. Okay. And you can taste the difference between a fresh and one that's been sitting around for a while. And cool. they get dark. All right, ladies. Well, not not pecans, but pecans. We're gonna go <laughs> ahead and <order> <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you can. All right, we're gonna toss it over to Dana for a final check of the weather.